in this episode of chess.com adventures it's all about a complicated bishop sacrifice we're going to start with pushing the d-pawn right there and we're looking to set something up not sure if you can see it uh, but you will hear we're going to take our c4 bishop and take f7 okay black takes here's the complication variation we're taking with the d-pawn that is the e5 queen is exposed if black recaptures black does not fall for it so we go to plan b take with the queen now black has some problems here it can't pull well it's going to lose its knight unless it well it's yeah it's probably going to lose its knight because it has to be either move the king or move the knight to defend it decides to move the knight back we can take with the pawn but now b7 is unguarded now of course we were threatening to discover check there uh so a lot of good things going on here we're gonna win the rook and decide to play for material here at this point and Black actually does a very good job of defending, considering uh, the pieces it had in place. Uh, here, typically, I will wrap this up in a move or two, but in this scenario, maybe maybe I missed a mate here somewhere. Uh, decided to offer up the knight in exchange for the bishop. Maybe should have captured with the rook there. Who knows? But anyway, uh, Black is a very good job of avoiding uh, mate in the spot for a few moves. We're eventually going to get there. There's the queen. Okay. Another check by the queen. Okay. Shorten up the position. Going to check with the pawn there. Now we take the queen. And from there on, it's going to be mate in a couple moves. Uh, yeah, but Black did a very good job of avoiding mate for as long as it could there. 